will discuss uh, regarding the concepts involved in uh, atrioventricular reciprocating tachycardias or the AV reentrant tachycardias, uh, commonly called as AVRTs. So, what are the essentials of diagnosis? The onset is uh, uh, sudden and termination is sudden. Heart rate is from 140 to 250 beat per minute. The P waves are ectopic. The RP relationship is short and delta wave on baseline ECG if bypass tract conducts anti-grade. So what is this? This is the normal structure of the heart where you see the SA node, the AV node, the atrium, the ventricles. There is a uh, bypass tract that are not, uh, in orange. That's the accessory path or the bundle of Kent or the bypass tract. Most of the time it's on the left side, uh, but it can also be on the right side of the heart. So there is an important uh, characteristic we should try to remember. Uh, the ac accessory pathways, uh, the conduction is more of retrograde rather than anterior grade. Whereas in the AV node, as it is normal, it's anti-grade more than the retrograde. This is a very important point we should remember. So orthodromic uh, conduction is anti-grade conduction over the AV node. 70% of the arrhythmias which involve the AV bypass tracts are orthodromic. The QR complexes are narrow. It's usually initiated by a premature atrial or ventricular beat. So this is the atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia with orthodromic conduction. You can see the impulse which is going through the AV node. From the SA node it comes to the AV node, that green line what you see. And it is going through the AV node, anti-grade and retrograde it is going through the uh, uh, accessory tract. This is characteristic of orthodromic conduction. This is an ECG with uh, orthodromic atrioventricular reentry. So the characteristics as I, we discussed earlier, it's a narrow complex tachycardia. There are no discernible P waves. The QR com QRS complexes are narrow because impulses are being transmitted in an orthodromic direction. That is via the AV node. That's the normal route. This rhythm is indistinguishable from AV nodal reentry tachycardia. So, in uh, if five percent of the patients can have a or what is known as antidromic ART. The atrial impulse is carried to the ventricle through the bypass tract. So retrograde conduction happens over the AV node. So it's exact reverse of the orthodromic AVRT. Uh, fortunately, it's seen only in 5 to 10 percent of the patients and QRS is wide and maximally pre-excited. So this is the diagrammatic representation of atrioventricular reentry tachycardia, which is antidromic. As you can see, compared to the previous diagram, the impulse originating from the atria is going through the accessory node anti-grade. Then it is going uh, back to the atrium retrograde through the AV node. So you see the ECG complex, it is wide with a delta wave with maximum pre-excitation. So this is a characteristic of antidromal, antidromic atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia. So this is an ECG reflecting the same. You have a broad complex tachycardia. You don't see any P waves. It's not monophasic. There's no Josephson sign. Uh, and it's... Uh, Typical uh, SVT with uh, aberrant conduction. Uh, one more uh, uh, atrioventricular uh, reentry tachycardia, which can be quite lethal, is atrial fibrillation. Uh, it's more common with anti grade conducting accessory pathways. 
ventricular rates of 250 to 350 beats per minute can be achieved. That, that is quite dangerous. So this is a rapid irregular broad complex tachycardia with a LBB morphology. Uh, this is typical of atrial fibrillation being conducted to the accessory pathways. This is quite a dangerous situation because the ventricular rate is very high. So it's uh, very important to know about AV re-entrant tachycardias or AV reciprocating tachycardias. Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, very important in the sense uh, making a proper diagnosis is very useful for the treatment because the accessory pathways can be dealt with surgically. That's the importance of knowing about uh, AVRTs. Thank you.